front door. Ooh, we got action. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Sean, but the streets call me Color Me Fresh. If you're like me growing up, you know, I was born in the late 80s, even if you were born in the early 90s, you had to watch Dragon Ball Z on Cartoon Network. You know, we didn't have access to like Crunchyroll and Netflix and all the good stuff that you youngins get nowadays to watch your animes and stuff. So I had to catch it after school, probably around like the fourth or fifth grade. Now the first arc I saw was probably the Frieza arc, and that's why we're here today, man. So today we're gonna to be doing a pair of Frieza custom shoes. And the sneaker of choice today, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be an Air Force One. It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I did the best. Yes, I caught that crib and bought two chains and then I hid the rest. Yes, and it's okay to do your- Now as you guys can see, the Air Force One is a high. And it got this smooth, buttery gum bottoms, baby. I made these on Nike ID. Um, what, what do we call it nowadays? What, Nike by you? And the whole point of me doing that originally was because I was gonna have the DBZ on the back heel tab, but it is not there, and I do not know why. So I don't know if I messed it up, I didn't put it there, and I thought I did, or they just played your boy and it's just not there. But regardless, I gotta make magic, so that's what I'm going to do. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is the prep work, and we all love to do it, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick, and then from there we can start designing and painting the sneakers. Trip to get that lick lick, broad tree fur if you prefer. Quick ride, no time, I'm in there. She clockwise, real good skincare. No tick top for that. They know that love don't live there. I can't roll dice on your plan. Red Rover, I don't hold hands. Get fortune from my foresight. Investment brought me four bands. Don't roll rage, I give. We'll wheel all by your forehead. Them city John be like he lit. Them country girls be like go ahead. If I ain't that man, then I gotta be more. So the prepping is done. And as you guys can see, I stuffed my shoes with like old raggedy t-shirts. Like don't go out and buy like new towels and stuff. Find some old dingy t-shirts around the house that you don't wear, cut them up. You can use those to stuff your shoes. I also use shoe horns. I use vinyl tape on my outsoles and I use, man. Don't y'all just love them brain farts, man? Like when you need something the most, they just wanna just, well, let me see, man. Masking tape. Now to you it seemed like it came back pretty instantly, but it took me about a solid hour and a half for me to remember it's called masking tape. So yes, I use masking tape to tape off my sock liner. Then of course you have to prep the shoes using acetone and I use cotton balls, you can use whatever you want, any kind of cotton product, a rag, some little cotton swabs, a little cotton pad. Just make sure acetone is involved and you're good to go. Now as you can see, I removed the swoosh on the outside of each Air Force One and that's because I plan on doing something I've never done before. For. So the design that I'm going with for the shoe is I want the shoes to be him, his theme, um, not so much an environment or his abilities, but it to look like him. So his armor, his skin pattern, his skin texture, and things like that. For the swoosh, what I plan on doing is using an acrylic swoosh to kind of mimic his scouter. And I've never done that before, so I do not know how it's going to turn out. But yeah. And next, I'm gonna just dive right in. I'm gonna just go ahead and start with the sketching. And I decided I'm gonna use a tracing method on this pair because I realized I have not made a video with me showing that method fully while I'm doing an actual custom sneaker. So yeah.
as you can see, my tracing method is nothing special. It doesn't look like anything in particular. It just looks like lines. I use it to just mark off um, proportions. And then I go in and freehand the rest. That's just how I prefer to do it. Now, there are people that cut out every part of the head and the body and then trace that. If that works for you, do your thing, player. With that out of the way, I can finally paint Frieza and do the rest of the base coats of the shoe to give the shoe the armor and skin feel that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Yes, I took my glasses off and no, I cannot see. I got tired of looking like an old 85 year old librarian constantly having to push them up because they're too big. Now I can do more of the detail, the shadowing and all of that of the shoe, you know, to kind of mimic the cell shading and things like that. And then from there, I can finally start the swoosh. So, the acrylic swoosh. Let's talk about it, shall we? Let me get my Captain Morgan on real quick. Um, so, uh, yeah. So what happened was, you know, I like the transparency of the swoosh, but it only looks pink when there's like when it's white underneath it, and I didn't like how it kind of turned like orange. Uh, yeah, man. And so I put it on the shoe, didn't like how it looked, so I decided to paint it. And I did most of this off camera because I felt like I was going to catch a case because I literally wasted, I want to say about four hours experimenting, but you know, all for science, right? So long story short, I spray painted both swooshes and I put the vinyl on there to get the little scanner symbols to spray paint that. I used a heat gun, the heat gun was too hot, so it reactivated the spray paint. And so I ruined... <laughs> Boy, he two for two, man. <laughs> he be on a mission. When I heat, used the heat gun, it reactivated the spray paint, so I ruined the swoosh. I had one, didn't like how it looked, so I went back to the original idea of using the transparent swoosh with the scanner symbols. So like I said, I wasted four hours. You win some, you lose some. But the kicks are done, so let's take a look, shall we? Right into the top, started from the flow. How we got up here, you don't need to know. Sniffing on a M, I need one of those. Sniffing on a M, like I got a cold. Need to know, now nah, you don't need to know. Need to know, now nah, you don't need to know. How we got up here. Let me know what you guys think of the kicks down below. Now, I was also thinking of maybe doing a Vegeta pair but more so with Bardock. So let me know if you guys want to see me make a Bardock or Vegeta pair similar to this. And also let me know what you thought of the kicks down below in the comments. If you're new here, you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button for your boy one time. Remember, everything deserves a little color. Until next video, guys, peace.